pass or something? It. Did I pass your people test? No. How did I not? How did I not pass your people test? I can't sit in the front seat. <laughs> no. Come on. I'll sit in the back. Come on. On February 24th, 2024, an officer observed a vehicle being driven recklessly on the road, failing to maintain proper lanes. Concerned about the safety of other drivers and pedestrians, the officer decided to pull the vehicle over and initiated a traffic stop. You see no, okay, you no, not that. You, give, me, give me the fucking... I'm not inebriated, sir. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I'm not inebriated. So are you going to perform the test? Sure. Perfect. All right. Upon stopping the vehicle, the officer approached it to investigate and determine the cause of the erratic driving. The driver of the vehicle was a female, and the officer began the interaction by requesting her identification and driver's license, as is standard procedure during traffic stops. Hi. The uh, reason I stopped was you were uh, weaving all over the road quite a bit. Any I'm sorry, reason for I thought I had my blinker on. You what? I thought I had my blinker. Well, no, I mean, you were drifting over the line and you drift back into your lane. You did that a few times. You got your license and a copy of insurance with you? Yeah. All right. Where are you headed to tonight? However, the female initially refused to provide the requested documents, displaying an uncooperative attitude. The officer then asked her to step out of the vehicle to further assess the situation and continue the investigation. After some hesitation, the female eventually complied and exited the vehicle, standing on the roadside as instructed. Okay, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Kenwood. Oh, like the, down by the town center area? Yes. All right. Can you grab a coat? Can you meet me out back real quick? Yes. All right. I mean, you'll have to grab a coat, but it's a little chilly yeah, if you'd like to. Oh. All right. I'm gonna pull over a little bit more. You're good right here. You're good right here. Once on the road, the officer attempted to gather more information and assess the driver's state of mind and sobriety. Despite the officer's professional demeanor, the female displayed a dismissive and entitled attitude. She expressed that she believed her wealth and status exempted her from adhering to the law, showing no respect for the authority of the officer or the seriousness of the situation. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle? No. Do you? Okay, perfect. No, no weapons in the vehicle. All right, no, no problem, no problem. Hey, um, the officer, undeterred by her attitude, informed the female that further steps were necessary to determine whether she was under the influence of alcohol or any other substances. Although the female insisted she was not intoxicated, the officer explained that a field sobriety test would need to be conducted to verify her claim. The female reluctantly agreed to undergo the tests, likely convinced that her assertion of sobriety would be proven correct. So how many drinks have you had tonight? I don't have any drinks. You had nothing? Mm -mm. Okay, because I the way you were driving and what I was saying, I just want to make sure everything's good before I send you on your way. No, everything's good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You, can you uh, drop the gum for me? You can toss it over there. There's way more, look. Way more than gum out here. We don't have to worry about that. All right, good, good. Um, here, um, have you been to the doctor recently for any head injuries or anything like no, that? No, nothing like okay, that. Okay, do you wear contacts or glasses? No. Okay, good, good. Would you mind if I uh, just do like an eye te test for you real quick? All right. The officer began the evaluation with the horizontal gaze nystagmus, HGN test, which assesses involuntary eye movements that can indicate intoxication. While the results were not immediately conclusive, they prompted the officer to proceed with additional sobriety tests. Can you put your feet together like that and hands and arms down at your side? All right, and just stay in that position. I gotta get a little bit of light right here. And I need you to look at the tip of my pen right here and follow that with just your eyes and keep your head still, you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not drunk. I don't know why you're giving me this test. You could have asked me was I in my phone when I was driving. It's just a routine test. I get that. You should have asked me why were you swerving. I did. I was jamming in my phone because I like to listen to music. Okay, well, you know that's illegal, right? No, it's not. Because I, I say, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri, well, play R. Kelly. Remember when I asked you the first thing, I said, why were you uh, swerving? And you said, I thought I had my blinker on. I'm not drunk, though, so. Okay, well, that's why, that's, just let me rule everything out, okay? Do, do it. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry. I can't keep a straight face. Like, I am obviously. And this not, is I, I, serious right no, now. No, and okay? I get so, that. I get that. Are you going to finish and, the test? I'm, and I'm finishing the test. But uh -huh. you would see if I was if I was inebriated, uh -huh. I would have already failed the test. Ma'am, I, I haven't am, even finished the test yet. But you have, you have Do spent, you want to perform the test or I not? am performing the okay, test. Well, we're not. And I'm out. killing it, and you're fucking playing, okay. you're, you're being a puppeteer. Okay. Don't, don't do that shit. Okay. You get, look at, look at me in my eyes. I'm looking at you in your eyes. Your uh -huh. eyes is more dilated than my pupils. Okay. Are you trained in this test? Well, no, I'm, no, no, but, but I'm aware, okay. but I'm aware that the test okay. is built to make somebody fail. Are you're you going you're to gonna do the shit. Until I, until you think We're that I not going to argue, okay? Let's I'm stop not, arguing. I'm not Are you going to perform the test? I'm, I'm doing the test, and I'm, and I'm not acing, doing the I'm acing right. the test. Okay. Go ahead. What, what's next? What's next? I'm not an inebriated. Walk and turn. Next, the officer conducted the walk and turn test, which evaluates balance, coordination, and the ability to follow instructions. The female performed poorly, failing to complete the test successfully. Okay, do you want to take those off, or you want to leave them off? I'm, it's okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do, I'll have to demonstrate it and then you can see no, it. No, okay? you don't have to, you, give me, give me the fucking, I'm not inebriated, sir. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I'm not inebriated. So, are you going to perform the test? Sure. Perfect, all right. So, do you want to take this off or do you want to leave your money? Or you want to wait? We'll leave your money. All right. So, where does my runway? We'll leave your money. There we go. And okay. I passed your eye test you with did? flying colors, did I not? Okay. Because you're doing all this. Why are you, why are you doing that? Because we're on to the next test. And I don't have to see me swerving. You what? And if you saw me swerving, you should have asked me. I did. But you should have been a little bit more direct. Okay. I think that you're inebriated, ma'am. And we could have had that conversation. Oh. Because now, and and I hope this is on body camera and, and um, is. dash cam. It is. Because you want to know. That's okay because my attorney uh -huh. is going to that's represent typically... me very well in that. That it's that's, not that's so. It so is your intention to take me to jail right now? My intentions your intentions are to, are to take me to jail. My intentions are to try to do this test. Do no, you your to... intentions are to take me to jail. Why are you trying to argue? You, because I passed. Okay, listen, please I passed, stop. I passed, we got to do this. I already or passed we don't. Test, do you want to or do you not? Here's my thing. I Why passed, do you keep talking? Why do I you keep passed talking? his test, and he's not going to let me stop Why until I fail something. Why are you still because talking? I passed your test, I'm trying to you're help not you going out. to let me go until I feel something, and that's the truth. That's the truth. You see that I'm naked, and it's cold as fuck out here. So I say, get your uh, coat. And I have my coat. All right. It's also knee high. Moving on. And I'm freezing so cold. So put your left foot on the line, right foot in front of your left foot. Stay there. No, put your stop. It's cold out put here. Put your left foot with your right foot in front of your left foot. With your right foot. There you go. Stay there. Now, put your hands and arms down at your side like that. Like this. There, step. No, no, no. Stop. Put your foot back. Right foot in front of your left foot. You see what I'm talking about? I'm fucking killing shit and he is not good enough. It's never going to be good enough for you. Okay. It's never going to be good enough, no matter what I do. Left foot on the line. Right foot in front of your left idiot. foot. Hands and arms down at your side. Right foot in front of your left foot. It's, Stay it's there. It's snowing. Stay and there. And I'm naked. Pay and I'm fucking... Shivering. Hands and arms down at your side. Stay in that position until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Okay. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps. You'll turn and take nine more heel to toe steps where you started. It. It's going to look like this. One, two, three, four, five. When you get to nine, you're going to turn around taking a series of small steps like this. Listen, listen, listen. Nine more to where you started. One. Did I not Two, pass your eye test? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The whole time you're doing it, and keep your hands on. The, the, the whole time, the whole time you're doing it. Try to take me to jail. The whole time you're doing it, keep your hands and arms don't, by your side. Keep your it. eyes on your feet. And don't count each step out loud. When I do this shit and you have me in here shivering and freezing, mm -hmm. and I pass this shit, you're gonna find another reason to take me to jail. Okay. I don't do drugs. I don't sell drugs. Let's get you back in that starting position. Right foot in front of your left foot. Right foot in front of your left foot, hands and arms down at your side. Well, you don't start yet. Put your right foot in front of your left foot. Are you upset because I am so much younger than you and my fucking car? Is that why you're mad? Right foot in front of your left foot, hands and arms down at your side. It's snowing and I'm naked. I'm cold. 
right foot in front of your left foot, hands and arms down at your side. Now you may begin. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you want me to turn left or right, sir? Left or right? I'm going to just go this way. Is that mm -hmm. okay with you? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. All right, next one, put your feet together like this. Hands and arms down at your side. Stay in that position until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? You, yes, you, sir. Okay, very good. When I tell you to begin, you're gonna lift one of your feet approximately six inches off the ground. Keep your legs straight, toe pointed forward. And you're gonna count out loud like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until I tell you to stop. Hold on a second. Okay. Is this a f real f thing? Yes, it is. Standardized No, sir, it's test. not. Because okay. I'm, I, so let me ask you something. Put let, your me, feet let, me like ask, this. let me ask you something, sir. Are you going to perform the test? Can I have your name? Are you going to perform the I'm, test? I'm going to perform the test. Well, let me ask you it. something. Did I pass your pupil test? No. How did, I not, how did I not pass your pupil test? We got one more to do, okay? Feet together like that, hands and arms down at your side. All right? When I tell you to begin, you're going to lift one of your legs, put your foot approximately six inches off the ground, toe pointed forward, legs straight. It's going to look like this. You can count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until I tell you to stop. The whole time you're doing it, keep your hands and arms at your side, keep your eyes on your foot, and count, uh, count out loud. Do you understand? All right, whenever you're ready, you may begin. You can continue. Woo! Do you want to continue? Now I'm going to continue. Okay. The cumulative failure of all these tests left little doubt in the officer's mind that the female had been driving under the influence. Consequently, the officer informed her that she was being placed under arrest for driving while impaired. The female was then placed inside the patrol vehicle to ensure her detainment while the investigation continued. You have me out here in snow, by the way. There's no snow. Are you coming to court for this shit? There's no snow. Are you going to show up? Yeah, so face, the, face the vehicle. Put your hands on your back, interlace your fingers, palms together. You are placed under arrest for OVI, okay? Away from your body. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Rolex. That's something you can never afford. Yeah, that's a Rolex. You couldn't even afford the bracelet. Get that up. Huh? Get that up. There we go. Make sure they don't double lock them so they don't close up on you. So you are in arrest for OBI, operating a vehicle under the influence. Okay. Let's go right back here to this car. Let's go. I'm trying to let's close my coat a little bit. We'll get you inside. You so where, where, are you, where were you taking me? Police department. To where? The police department. Police department? That is correct. Police department. Mm. We'll start there and then... I can't sit in the front seat. <laughs> no, I sit in the back. Come on. Come on. There you go. Following the arrest, the officer conducted a search of the female's vehicle, as is standard procedure in such cases. During the search, the officer discovered an open container of alcohol inside the vehicle, which further corroborated the suspicion of impaired driving. No laws when you're drinking the claws, right? <clears throat> All right, that is blackberry white claw, 5%. I'm going to go ahead and pour it out, finish it. Still cold. However, when confronted with this evidence, the female denied ownership of the container. She claimed that other individuals who had been in her vehicle the previous night might have left the alcohol behind. The officer, experienced in handling such scenarios, recognized this as an attempt to deflect responsibility. 
You know why this was on the uh, floor? What is that? No, I don't drink that. It's sitting on Where? the floor behind the driver's seat. Oh, oh, probably. Yeah, I had I had some people in my car last week. Last week? Yeah. All right, well, that... well, maybe the week before. Because it's for the Super Bowl. I have people in my car. You don't have one? No, I don't drink. I don't drink White Claw. So like sitting up like this. I think it, well, it had to be because it was like full like that. Oh, then yeah, I had to. I had to check right. on here. Yeah, I have people in my back seat when we do special events like Super Bowl. We had a we had a party for Super Bowl. So, based on the circumstances and the totality of evidence, the officer remained confident that the open container was connected to the female's impaired state at the time of the stop. After securing the evidence and completing the initial investigation, the officer transported the female to the police station for further processing and documentation. At the station, additional steps were taken to ensure all relevant information was recorded and the evidence was secured to support the charges against her. Doesn't surprise me, but that's not from me. I don't drink White Claw. You told me you didn't drink, but I can smell it on your breath tonight. I don't know what you're smelling on my breath, sir. But I'm damn sure not inebriated. I can't wait for my lawyer to beat the shit out of y'all in court. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to be fun. All right. So what's going to happen to my truck? I have to tow it. Yeah, so who's towing it? I'll get that information once I receive it. But did you give them the key or are they going to f*** it up? Because I just got them tires yesterday. Okay. Uh, this is a bigger Escalade, so I might go a little airborne loading it. The case was later brought before a court where the female faced charges for violating traffic rules and driving under the influence. These charges reflected the seriousness of her actions, including reckless driving, failing to cooperate with law enforcement, and operating a vehicle while impaired. The presence of the open alcohol container further reinforced the gravity of the situation. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.